I ask for eyes that see, ears that hear, and a heart full of understanding. I thank you for the messages that come through and ask that you deliver them to those that need them. Thank you. Okay. We are doing, I believe it's messages from your guides. Sorry, guys. My brain just decided to leave me for a second. Um, we are also going to be doing zodiac picking. That will come a little bit later. As of right now, pile one, you have this labradorite. I love that shine that you're getting. And your card is number 27, receive your worthiness. Pile two, you have this bloodstone heart. Don't know if I can get you to see the red. There's bits of red in it. It's a little dark. Anyway, and your card is number 44 with Embody Grace. Pile three, you have this cherry blossom pillar. Um, also, some people call it a chrysanthemum. Basically, it's the idea is a flower um, that these little spots look like flowers in it, and also the coloring. I just love the crystal that you see these little clear crystals in between each part. And your number is 42 and it says remember who you are. And now we will do zodiac picking. One, two, three, and four. So we've got for pile one, Pisces. Virgo, Aries, and Capricorn. For pile, whoop, <laughs> pile two, we have Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, and <laughs> this poor Cancer that I keep either dropping or shoving around. And then the rest for pile three is Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, and last but not least, Gemini. So go ahead and pause if you need to, guys. Pick your pile. Timestamps are down in the description. I'll see you there. Okay, pile one. You picked with your zodiac sign, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, and Virgo. There's that. If you picked with your stone slash crystal, the Labradorite, with that glorious flash of color there. And then the card 27, receive your worthiness. Let's see what your guides have to say to you. Embodiment with the Manzanita plant. Nope, upside down card. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. I think I'm going to need some more space. All my cards are upside down. Gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. Clingy. Forgiveness. And last but not least, learning. So, numbers if you're into numerology, we have 27, 41, 23, 26, and 4. Okay. Settling into your energy at the moment. Mm. Oh, oh. Getting a little um, tingling from this one. And 
it says at the bottom here of forgiveness that hurt blocks our light. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, I am actually taking this card. I, I feel that some of you might take it as purely what's kind of on the outside clingy. It says old exes, dead relationships, old ways. Um, I am actually feeling it being more about something clinging. Either you're clinging to something or something clinging to you, but not so much relationship wise. Um, it, more like old ways, right? Like, like old beliefs or a current belief, but it's just, it's clinging. I will say when I was doing these cards, these piles, divvying out the cards, um, I dropped this card and I thought for a second, oh, should I put it in the pile? Does that mean that goes there? And I decided against it and... I did the piles and I don't look at them beforehand and so I'm actually <laughs> uh, quite pleased that this came out this 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 was the card so apparently you need this for some reason this is very special or at least it's it's needed it's it's saying you know it's clinging <laughs> it's clinging Okay, so it really feels quite divided. Um, it feels like you've got the side over here that is the learning side. You've got learning, you've got clinging, you've got forgiveness and hurt. And then you've got gratitude in the middle here. And then you've got this like worthiness, like receive your worthiness, embodiment and fortune and luck and right timing and So it's kind of like you're getting through this period of something. We'll get into that. Where at one point when you hit the grateful marker, you get into this side. So maybe, I don't know where you're at. This could be a looking back on your life. This could be you're in the middle of it. This could be you're here. My voice is struggling for some reason, my throat. Um, I usually take that to mean that there's some kind of communication issue. Um, I need to check in though, really quick. Okay. Okay, yes. So it is in regards to you, it's not just me <laughs> having a throat close up. Um, something within your pain um you have a hard time talking about this is not a criticism guys this is just a it's not a judgment just want to remind you of that this is just how it is it's it's okay <laughs> it's just how it is So it could be, for those of you that want to, that feel that this card, because I do, I, I feel a lot of you are very much like, it's about a relationship. It's, you know, that's, that's fine. We can take it that way. Um, so for those of you like that, there's, what's the forgiveness that needs to happen within that relationship? Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Guys. I don't know why this is, <clears throat> but for some reason, this channel is very much about the inner workings. It's very much, it's, it's not surfacey stuff that, you know, I try and have fun. I try and like, let's do a fun one. And then it ends up going into shadow work. And 
so yeah, this is, but this is what I'm hearing. So this is what I'm giving. I'm just presenting you with what I'm receiving. Um, when I talked about this, when I started mentioning your relationship and the forgiveness thing, what needs to be forgiven, I heard it goes both ways. What do you also need to be forgiven for? So it's, it's like a, they're not asking you, yeah, they're not asking you to go to that person and say, what do you need to forgive me for? Like, what do I need to be forgiven for? It's, it's about having a reflection time. It's about seeing the truth of the relationship um, not just from your normal perspective, but opening up, broadening your horizons to how could they possibly have seen you in it. So there is something about this that's been clinging and it's there for a reason. And I'm going to say it's probably because you need to learn from it. It's probably there. I mean, everything that sticks to us, guys, right? Why is it sticking to us? It's because we need to deal with it. <laughs> There's something about it. There's something that we need to learn. There's something we need to work through. It's when we're good to go, they go away. Those things that stick go away. So something that clings is there for a reason. There's something for us to deal with. So I, I would encourage having some time of reflection on whatever this relationship was and finding your way to gratitude. Again, this does not mean talking with them in person or even through text. This is purely for you. This is not about them. This is for you, your own working, your own understanding. Um, ultimately, Ultimately, this is your way. Getting through things is how you find more joy. Getting through it is how you get your happiness, your gratitude. Um, so, it also switches up the energies again. So when, when you've gotten through it, you've worked through it, you've seen both sides, you're learning, this clinginess doesn't cling to you anymore. And you have gratitude, you're able to embody this gratitude, the energy shift. And that is what brings in this right timing and luck. That's what brings in receiving, being able, you're in a different energy, you're able to receive your worthiness, your gifting, whatever, whatever is coming to you. Um, I do not feel that this is like I, I don't. Some of you, maybe everybody has to work on their self-love and all of that stuff. You know, we, we all got to go there at some point. Um, but I don't feel like you think that you're not worth anything. That's, that's not what I'm getting with this. What I am getting is, is you receiving a reward. And it's not like a, it's a, not a comeuppance either. What is my, what's the word guys? Help me out guides. Receiving what you are due because you've done the work. So this is a really weird example, but if you bake a cake from scratch and you've like followed your grandma's recipe or something, right? And you're done with the cake and it comes out and you like present it to her. She's so happy and proud. And that's a reward that you're receiving because you're excited that she's happy and proud, right? It's a reward. It's, it's a, it's what you're due because you put the work in. So call it a prize, call it a reward, call it payment. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but You've put the work in, the energy changes, you're embodying this grace, this, why, don't, why did grace come out? Gratitude. I guess grace is part of it. Grace is the word that came out. So, yeah. It's also being seen. Um, your, your change from this is being seen. 
And, and that's not something you even have to worry about. It's not like, hey, look at me, or you don't have to show people. You're, they're just going to notice. They're going to notice. I am going to take some sip of coffee. Okay, what else do we have? We have a lot of, okay, I was told to notice the colors, and we have a lot of sepia, kind of on this, and then we gain color right here, and there's a lot of green. Um, so two things I'm getting with this is the deeper, like, psychological thing is that going from this clinging energy to this gratitude energy is going to bring you life and then the other thing I was getting is that you might really benefit from growing a plant you don't have to like have a green thumb or anything pick an easy plant um start with one see how you if you enjoy it if you like to tend you know to the plants learn all about it. They um, certainly take different care in different climates. So <laughs> you got to research, figure stuff out, learn, grow with your plant. Um, okay, so I am, I've been brought back to this card again one of the ways that i think that they're offering up to you of working through your hurt is because it looks almost like this person is about to offer their their hurt their pain um with the way that it, it's the way i'm seeing it currently you might see it differently I, again perspectives like everyone has their lens they look through right Anyway, what I am currently seeing is, yeah, and what I'm receiving from your guides is offer up your pain. Offer up how you feel. Give it to them. Give it to whatever higher power it is that you believe in. Um, there are, sorry, I just, I felt oh, a decent amount of pain there. So I had to take a moment. There are, um, literally like there, there are several ways. And what they're saying is to imagine yourself literally giving your pain. Um, you can talk with them about your pain, your hurt. You can set intentions for your dream life to offer it up in your dreams. You can trade with the trees. That sounds a little weird, but I watched a video one time where someone was talking about, um, how plants transmute and that they can also do this with your emotions. And but it's a it's an agreement between you guys. So um I don't know if they just do it freely. I don't know if it's just how the world works and you go hug a tree and it helps. Like <laughs> I don't know, guys. I have no clue. But um I'm just trying to offer you as many different ways as possible. And keep an open mind, you know? Might as well try it. Might as well try. It, what, what's, what's the harm in trying? Hmm. Okay. So I'm seeing this card and it's looking like an eye to me. And... There's even um, a set of wings right here with an eye in the center. And 
that kind of reminds me of like the biblical description of angels um and also the the circular thing wow that's actually really interesting anyway um but what i heard was in time you will see in time you will see so there is something i think that you are doubting um or are scared about it may not be that you're doubting it it might just be that you've you've got a fear like a, a natural fear that happens um that they're saying you're, you're you'll see you'll see <laughs> Also, this is not like a warning you'll see. This is like, you'll it'll be okay. You're, you're going to see that it's going to be okay, that things are going to work out. Actually, this kind of reminds me of your stone. I just realized your labradorite. Um, the labradorite can, in the right lighting, is just kind of stone colored, right? Like sepia, like nothing going on. And then suddenly you shine it in the right light and bam, it's got all that color. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. I mean, so I'm looking on the screen, you can see the color, but from my perspective, I don't see any color. That's what I see. Okay, I am also now being reminded um, or encouraged to tell you there might be some kind of calming ritual for you maybe textile maybe feeling things um i i saw this and i was reminded of like a rosary um you know counting the beads with the prayers and that kind of stuff uh maybe it's meditation maybe it's counting maybe you know it's there's something for you and you might even maybe you have a fidget toy. Um, something, if you don't have one yet, you might look into that and see if it's something that you would, you would like. I mean, I also get that with like the hand here. There's a lot of hands. So you might need to you know, stay busy, stay, have your hand be busy doing something that helps you to actually focus. Okay. Anything else? Anything specific? Pile one guides? Nope. It was just a really sweet little message just to remember that you are treasured. You are treasured. So, okay, we will leave it at that. I truly hope this has been a blessing for you guys. I hope that regularly you feel loved and seen, heard, understood, treasured, <laughs> all those good things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Alrighty, pile two with your bloodstone heart. And if you chose with your zodiacs, we have Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, and Taurus we are going to put up here and your card number 44 embody grace and we have bloom with a squash blossom dust devil moving out of stagnation oh you got two of those we're gonna have to squish things around Running, escape, denial, excuses. Interesting. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. 
Okay, what are my smallest cards? I'm gonna... I'll do that. Because, yep, you got extra. Courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. Strength of vulnerability. True power lies at the root of perceived weakness. And love. Wow. If you are into numerology, your numbers are 44, 53, 15, 4, and 3. Now you got four, three fours and fives in there. Okay. I gotta say, this actually really bothers me. So if I can squish these, I'm gonna. There we go. All right. I I am not getting that this is like running away. I think it's just a representation of movement. I'm getting a lot of other things. It's not it's not so much far what it actually says on the card. Just letting you guys know. Taking a sip of coffee there. Also, I want to point out these cards. I think they're really amazing. Um the I think it's a woman that did them. I forget why am I looking on the back? Um I forget though, but I think it is. So she's a photographer and but her, the idea behind them was native plants to the area, which I don't, I don't remember the exact area she's in. I, I want to say it's the West, West U.S. Anyway, um, and if you were to combine the spirits of the plant with humans, and what would that look like? And so she's got a lot of, like, it, they're really interesting. She uses all these I mean, these are real blossoms, you know, that they've put with this pregnant woman who's, I mean, she's truly pregnant. It's just, it's incredible. It's beautiful stuff. Great idea. I'm going to settle into your energy. There's nothing particular right now that's really jumping out. Um, there is an overall sense of maturity in this group. Um, I'm really getting like understanding like there's something that um, there's something that is bothering you in your heart but you also truly have understanding like you're you're very much someone that can look from different perspectives I have a feeling this might be a short reading, which I don't like doing. <laughs> I want to, I want to give as much as I can, you know, to you guys. It's, you're here for a reason. You're watching for a reason. So 
let's let's see let's grab something please what do you have to say to pile two this card we need to pay attention more to this card um strength of vulnerability true power lies at the root of a perceived weakness when we come for see i don't even feel like i have to explain this to you like that's you guys are mature but i'm going to just in case <laughs> um Something seems like a fear. Something seems like an insecurity. Something maybe we feel ashamed about. But when we are truly forward with ourselves, with who we really are, and truthful with those around us, it's, it's a strength. It's, it feeds into our own soul and gives our soul strength because it's saying, I believe, I believe in myself. I am worthy enough and strong enough to fully come forward even when it's scary. And, and that gives such strength and such power. I do think, okay, yep, okay, uh, I do think that you guys might struggle a little bit with being more forward. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. Some people, like, I don't know how they do it, but some people are just bleh, <laughs> all of them, it's all forward. Um, a lot of us are not, a lot of us, it's, behavior that's been corrected through childhood and we learn to like even if it's not what they meant to teach we take things a certain way and we now hold back and you know so yeah there it is there it is okay you are moving out of this staying hidden staying quiet you may not even have seen it as as you're being hidden or secretive because it's not how you meant it right you're just not talking you're just not coming forward um but other people probably view it as if you might be really private you might be a little secretive you might be mysterious um because you're not bringing yourself forward in strength um it is something that you can do, but it's not easy for you. That's, that's how this is feeling. And I do feel that it's moving in a direction where it, it's going to be easier and easier. Like you're working on it. It's something that you're, you're consciously aware of. Yeah, I mean, even with this card and body grace, it's, you see this creature that is holding back all this stuff up here? So it's like you're holding back and you don't need to. Um, oftentimes, I think uh, it has to do with not wanting to hurt people. Or not wanting to come across a certain way or not trusting the people you're talking to because they're going to have their reactions and you don't like their reactions you know that's it happens that it happens but we do we and you already know this again i feel like you already know this um but we we still need to come forward we still need to give our souls that strength and stand firm in who we are and show people who we are show them regardless of how we're treated regardless of what their response is they're allowed to have whatever the response is sometimes that really freaking sucks 
but they're allowed. That's it's their choice. That's their life, you know. I do I do think that you really you're such a loving creature. You're such you've got this grace, you've got this love. I think that really has mostly to do um with all of this. Like you're you I think you've been hurt and you don't want to hurt other people. You've probably been because of your quietness or holding back, you've probably been seen in ways that aren't you because it's like you're a blank canvas that pe other people can paint whatever they want to on, right? Which happens anyways, because we all see through our own lenses. But people can assume a lot of things if we don't bring forward. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. I just, I laugh, guys, because there are so many people that and I probably do this myself. We all probably do without even being aware of it. But you ever notice how someone doesn't hear you? How you're talking? And they'll hear you, but like they literally are not understanding what you're saying. They they respond in a way that's like, that's not what I said. You did not hear me. Um <laughs> Or you're not believing me. You're not trusting me in what I'm saying. Stuff like that. And so it almost makes us not want to speak, right? Like, why? Why bother? No one's going to... Everybody does their own thing anyway. So who cares? Um, don't do this for them. Do this for you. Work on it for yourself. Work on it because it is freeing to your soul. It is freeing to come forward rather than keeping everything back. can't stay pregnant forever. It's got to come out at some point. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> it's a good way, good way to put it. <laughs> okay. Is there anything specific, please, for pile two? They already know this. They're already working on it. It's they're mature, they're loving, great people. I have anything else for them? Um, do you ever touch your soul? That's what's coming out. I I don't fully understand it myself at the moment, but. Do you ever touch your soul? And now I feel like I'm going to need to like go try this, but whatever that means to you, um, to me, I immediately think of using the imagination, right? Of like maybe a meditative state and then visualize your soul and touch it. See yourself touching it or if you don't do so well with visuals, um, maybe you can just feel yourself in your, in your heart, in your heart center and, <clears throat> excuse me, and put the energy just in case, just for some of you, just in case you're not already aware of this, I'm going to give a little bit of a tiny lesson here. You know how, unless you think about it, or unless you step on something, you don't normally feel your feet. You're not like aware of them. You're, you're, you're focused on something else. But as soon as you say, my right big toe, your attention goes there and you can feel that area. So that's where your energy is. So put your energy in your heart center. Feel your heart center. Touch it. Anyway, two ways to go about that. Um, they're, they're just encouraging that. And heck, I'm going to give it a shot tonight and see what happens because I find this really interesting. Okay. Are we? Yeah. 
yep, that's it. I, a little bit of a short one, guys, but I truly hope that it's been a benefit to you. I hope that you feel seen. I hope that you feel loved, heard, understood, cherished, all of the amazing things that you are. So much love, guys. I will see you next time. Okay, pile three with your, we'll just call it a flower pillar for now, your cherry blossom, your chrysanthemum, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can get you a closer look. Anyway, there's that. If you chose with your zodiac, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, and Gemini, we're going to put that right there. And your card was number 42. Remember who you are with the elephant. I love elephants. Okay. Put that there. And, oh, that's right. You had two of those. We're going to have to squish things. That's squishy. All right. So, as far over as I can get, we'll try this. We have cleansing with lavender. We have Benefactor with Grace and Generosity. We have Acceptance. I am learning to accept things I cannot change. Epiphany. It says Self-Reflection, Answered Questions, Untapped Talents. Presence of Absence. Hmm. I am not going to fit these in there. Okay. Inner integration. Interesting. So let's, yeah, I can, that's fine. We'll move it that way. Oops. There's that. All right. Okay. And reproach. Alrighty, so inner integration says there is peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. Wow, that's a lot to unpack there. Um, if you're into numerology, number 42, 38, 3, 35, 40, and 25. Super interesting here with this um, integration. And then you've got this snakes that are basically entangled in each other. As well as you've got two different snakes. You've got a dark and a light. And you've got this presence of absence. Um, which. Sorry, my heart breaks a little with this card. It really does. Uh, I don't know if you can see it clearly. I'm going to lift it up a little closer so you can. So it's basically holding someone close, holding them dear when you're not with them, whether they've departed or whether it's your spiritual team that you don't feel physically with you and, and so it's hard whether it's just someone that you're in separation from right now you know it's there's a lot of different options there but Okay, I am I am being told to ignore the word, so go ahead and ignore the word, guys. Unless this specifically means something to you, take that yourself. But for the reading, um, it's more about the intertwining of the snakes here. And settle into your energy. There's something, okay, so. Oh, wow.
there's a lot with these cards right now. <laughs> um, remember who you are, epiphany, acceptance, inner integration, and the snakes. So what I'm receiving, oh, I just got body chills. Whoa. Okay. All right. Lots of energy there. There's a side to yourself that you are not receiving yet, that you are not, you might have an inkling, but you haven't like dived into it, right? Um, and that you need to accept. And it is a wild side. This talked about bringing the inner wild and also the taming that life ends up doing and finding the way to like mingle them in together to have that balance um which is this whole snake thing as well oh whew. like massive body chills you guys it's just going through me okay you need to let the wild out you're only doing one side you're you're not I'm feeling reproached. <laughs> I'm feeling reproached. I hold back so much, you guys. I hold back, um, not with the readings, um, in my own, like, spiritual life. I, I generally tend to be more, I don't want to say repressed, just calmer. What's, the, it's an R word. Anyway, um, and there is something in me that wants to go wild. There is something inside me that wants to go dance in the moonlight in the grass and wants to paint the walls with my body. You know, like there's something in there, but I have yet to accept that side of myself. I have yet to bring it out fully. And the truth is getting into these Oracle readings is me starting to bring that forward. Um, but it's still, I still don't fully dive in hopefully we'll get there hopefully we'll get there so i'm with you guys on this pile maybe this will be my pile when i end up watching but um yeah so there's there is definitely a side to you that is wild that you are not giving enough to um And, and it doesn't have to be, that's, that's the thing with this. It doesn't have to be all or nothing, right? They're saying you can integrate it. They're saying it, you're not going to go crazy just because you're letting your wild side out. Um, it might feel weird to you because you've been so calm rather than wild. But to accept this side, to give it some freedom, give it some freedom. Okay, so what I'm getting now is this, um, this currently is representing your spiritual team. And now they're talking about cleansing. And they want to, <laughs> let's see, <laughs> that's, that's really interesting. Okay, so bringing this card out now. Um, this uh, First though, this cleansing is talking about a removal, like a washing away, a gentle, a gentle washing away of limiting beliefs, basically, of things that don't actually serve you, but might be still in there a little you know um but this is your wild side man look at this like you've got the magic mushrooms let me show you a little closer you've got this crazy looking mouse chinchilla fairy <laughs> um it's a couple looks like there's a couple they're very very happy um you got some might be roses. I think they're roses here. It's it's grace and generosity, but really I'm I'm getting more about the visual of the card. Um being this like 
let yourself be free for a bit. Let yourself have the crazy imagination. Let yourself have the crazy beliefs for a while. Um, see what, how it goes. See what happens. So go dance in the moonlight in the grass and see what happens. You know, why, why judge it? Why not experience? Isn't that what life is about? Having a bunch of experiences and learning, right? So have fun, go wild. You're gonna, you're gonna get up and go to work the next day or whatever it is you do, you you know, life will continue on. Um, and you will have a balance. This is not, it's not going to take you over. Or, heck, it might take you over and you might turn it into a career and it might be amazing. You might make some amazing art by painting with your body on the wall. I don't know. But it's really, it's encouraging. It's encouraging you to go ahead and go wild and to not be scared because you will figure your way. You will figure it all out. I was suddenly drawn to the elephant for some reason. Why, why am I being drawn to the elephant, please? Um, there's, there's the image I'm receiving is of a elephant playing in water and like just enjoying it like thoroughly enjoying splashing the water all around I'm hoping that that maybe has a meaning for you or reminds you of something or just that you appreciate the imagery um, of it being this joyful experience right You might, um, lavender is really easy to come by. You might use it as a reminder to let go. It's, that's not, I don't think that's normally what it's supposed to be represent, representative of. But um, for you, because of this reading, you might just go, oh yeah, let's let go of the things that I keep judging on myself, right? Let's, let's let go and be wild for a bit. Let's go ahead and have these crazy beliefs and experiences for a little while. What's the harm? What's the harm in it? You can always take a step back. This, this is your life. You get to choose what you want to do with it. Yes, of course, we have our regular daily lives. Most of us have to go to work and pay the bills and clean house and, you know, do all the things. But when it comes to your beliefs, why not have fun for a little bit? Um, you can always, you can always say, you know what, I tried and it's not quite for me. And that's totally okay. Totally okay. But you also might find something that really works. Okay, is there anything else, please? Okay, I am getting generational stuff now, um, especially because we have this older couple here and then we have these generational, it looks like it's probably like the women in a family. We've got like a grandma and a mom and sisters or what, whatever it is. Um, there's a real calling that I'm having right now to uh, it's like, it's 
it's hard for me to describe. Sorry, guys. So it's like this. Here's an example. Please take the meaning, not the exact example, because I don't know what everyone's situation is. But the example that I'm getting is like all the women have this particular gifting, but because of the upbringing of each generation, you it's not recognized as a gifting. It's not recognized as it, it just happens to be and you're not really aware that it's happening. Like, for example, maybe it's um, being empathic and maybe each of the women in line this generation have had it, but they're just sensitive, you know, or or it could be that they're aware, but it's not really appreciated. Um, it might be seen as a negative thing instead of a positive thing. So it's like there's something in your generational past that is brought down to you. Um, now, that could be a spiritual gifting. That could be a belief system that you might actually really be interested in that's like back there a ways. Um, it, it, there there could be all different things. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's representing, but generationally there there is something for you. And and it doesn't feel like a physical thing. It's it's more it's something spiritual, but it's it's why you need to tap into your wild side. That's what I'm hearing. It's there's, your ancestors used to do this. And now I'm getting like the image of the, the women from um, Outlander. If you've ever seen the opening, like the theme to Outlander, um, where they're like dancing at night and they've got lanterns or whatever. They're, and they're dancing around um, and singing and there's singing going on and it's... Um, it would appear wild to people that aren't used to that, right? And so your wild side is craving this. Your spiritual side is craving this. And so you might look back in your family's history, your bloodline, um, or it doesn't even have to be your exact bloodline, maybe your your culture, whatever your culture is that you're in, um, and see there's something for you in it. Um, or it could be something that you denied, you know, you didn't want to have any part of and as a younger person. And now they're telling you, oh, maybe look at this, maybe check it out. Yeah, there's an integration. There's, there's this, I keep saying integration. <laughs> There's a, there's a tie with this and your wild side coming out as well. It's, it's going to all tie in together. It's going to meld and you will find the balance. I, I don't know how long it's going to take you, you know, who knows? Cause that's, that's up to you about how quickly you dive in and accept things and life can also get in the way sometimes. So, you know, it depends on how busy you are and all that, but yeah. Is there anything else, please? Nope, that was it. That was it. Guys, I truly hope that this has been beneficial for you. I truly hope that you feel seen, heard, understood, cherished, all of those wonderful things. And I will see you guys next time.